Hi, I'm Randy Nessie from the Center for Evolution and Medicine at Arizona State University. We just opened our new space today with our special guest, Steve Stearns, one of the people who really started the field of evolutionary medicine. Today's talk in the center was all about trade-offs, so we're going to have a conversation about that. Steve, we're so glad you're here. Randy, it's good to be here. Um, Steve also has written a textbook of evolutionary medicine, which is wonderful and used very widely, teaching a course on evolutionary medicine, and we rely on him for all kinds of things, including editing the best journal in the field. Today, though, we're going to talk about trade-offs, one of the most fundamental concepts. And I've, I've got a challenge for you. In two minutes or less, what's a trade-off? A trade-off occurs whenever an evolutionary change in one trait that increases fitness is linked to a change in another trait that decreases fitness. So with every benefit, there is an associated cost. So you crank up your stomach acid and it helps kill things better in your stomach, but it also makes ulcers more likely. Is that a trade-off? That would be a trade-off. That's a trade-off expressed in terms of a cost that's in, in, in terms of risk. Uh, a really central trade-off in life history evolution is the trade-off between reproduction and survival. Uh -huh. The more you invest in reproduction, the less likely you are to survive. That doesn't sound good. Uh, well, uh, the way evolution works, it doesn't really care whether it sounds good or not. Do you mean having sex or having babies or both or what? I mean having babies. Uh-huh. Okay, so carrying out the complete act of reproduction turns out normally in most organisms to be costly in terms of how long they live. So if you have more babies, you don't live as long? Uh, well, it's not quite that simple. Often having one or two seems to be a good idea, but having more than that in humans seems to impose an increasing cost. In no. fact, we found that in women in Framingham, Massachusetts, each additional child after the third appeared to reduce lifespan by one year. Wow. So that's a trade-off. Having more babies makes your life shorter. That's right. Is that's that general? Not is humans or a lot of, lot of species? Uh, it has been found virtually wherever we looked, and the best experimental results come from things like fruit flies and nematode worms and uh -huh. things like that. But yes, it seems to be very general. So there's only so much energy, and you can develop some in reproduction and some in keeping your body intact? Is that, that the is, basic idea? That's one of the basic ideas, yes. Uh -huh. So it's one way to get a trade-off, and it's probably a very important one. Uh -huh. You can either do this with your energy, or you can do that, but you can't do both. Hmm. There is no free lunch. No, no cake and eat it too, hey? So are there other good examples of trade-offs? Well, uh, in fact, once you start looking for them, they are all over the place. Uh, for example, if uh, we increase the attraction, attractivity and the muscular strength of a human male by giving him more testosterone, he will get stronger, but he will, to do so, he will have to downregulate his immune system and he will become more susceptible to getting sick. And more likely to die. And more likely to die. So mm -hmm. macho makes you sick. Wow, interesting. So. I've often heard said that nothing in the body can be perfect because making any one thing better makes something else worse. Is that basically correct? I'm not sure that it's an absolute rule, but it's certainly a general observation. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. some people imagine that those of us in evolution medicine are trying to say the body is perfect, and we're really not saying that at all. Well, uh, the image that emerges of an organism once you have really immersed yourself in trade-offs is that all the different parts of an organism are tied to many other parts. And you can't change one thing without changing something else. And if you think about what doctors do, when they treat a patient, they're changing something. So let's save that for just a minute and go on to figure out how medical treatment is mucking up or helping trade-offs.